hello everyone and then welcome to another video um in case you are new here kindly subscribe and then hit on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any newly published article and um, published videos okay um in this video we'll be talking about conjugate complex numbers and then division of complex numbers they work in hand in hand okay so we are trying to kill two bears with one stone okay so when we talk about conjugate complex numbers it's just the reverse of actual complex numbers okay so when you take the conjugate of a complex number it means you are negating the imaginary side or portion of the complex number so let's take this for example if z is equal to 2 plus 4i so the conjugate of z will be z with the bar okay to be equal to 2 so we negate the imaginary portion so we have minus 4i okay so let's say take for instance we have z 2 is equal to minus 5 minus 5i okay minus 5i so when we take the conjugate of z2 we will get sorry we will get um minus 5 plus because we've already negated the imaginary side okay so we have plus 5i so this is what we mean by conjugate complex numbers now there is no need to do this okay there's no need to prove this just use the calculator you get the same answer okay so i'll prove to you how to find a conjugate with the calculator right away so again kindly subscribe if you are new here okay and then hit on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any trick or calculator trick irrespective of the trick okay if it could be a calculator trick a calculation trick or whatever okay so kindly subscribe and then let's move on okay so let's use our calculator so finding the conjugate of these values let's start from here okay so we are already in complex mode right yes so mode and then you click two you'll be in the complex mode now we want to find the conjugate of z okay so we have z is two plus four i right so when you want to find a conjugate just click on shift and then you click on two okay so you could see complex over there complex written over there in yellow so click on that and then you click on two okay click on two okay this is the conjugate okay conjugate of the of this expression okay so all you have to do is just insert your your complex value over there right so let's find the conjugate of z okay so click on shift and then two right and then you click on two again and then you insert the value okay or the expression so that's two plus four i okay and then you click equal to sign you get your complex value okay let's move on to the next one okay let's find a conjugate of this okay so again you can just delete this okay you can just delete that or just clear everything okay and then click on shift complex and then two and then you set it again so we have minus five minus five i okay and there you have it okay yes it's as simple as that now let's move to the division of complex numbers okay now okay so let's say you've been given certain complex number to find the complex find that exact complex number in their standard form so let's say you have z equals 3 minus 2i okay divided by minus 1 plus 4i 
okay so you have to find this in their standard form okay all you have to do is just multiply the numerator and then denominator by the conjugates of the complex number okay so let's do that so we have 3 minus 2i right divided by minus 1 okay plus 4i so we are multiplying both the top and the bottom down the numerator and the denominator by the conjugates of the denominator okay we are multiplying the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator okay so we are finding the conjugate of this denominator so we have minus 1 minus 4i okay and then we have minus 1 minus 4i okay yes it's as simple as that and then you proceed okay so 3 by minus 1 will give us minus 3 3 by minus 4i will give us minus 12i all right then we have minus 2y by minus 1 will give us a positive 2i right and then we have minus 2i minus 4i note that whenever you see i squared okay i squared is the same as minus 1 okay i cube is the same as minus i okay so you can also point that on the calculator so let's verify that okay so whenever you see i squared is minus 1 okay whenever you see i cube okay it's minus i whenever you see i exponent 4 it's positive 1 okay yes so let's just go back to that and then we can see that we have minus 2i minus 4i that's positive 8 but since we have i multiplying i we have i squared so that's negative 1 so we have negative 8 okay divided by minus 1 multiplied by minus 1 that's positive 1 minus 1 multiplied by minus 4 i that's positive 4 i okay and we have positive 4 i negative 1 we have negative sorry have negative 4i okay negative 4i and then we have positive 4i negative 4i that's negative again okay so negative 16 i squared all right Yes, so we have negative, negative, that's positive, right? Yes, okay. So from here we have minus 11, minus 10i, that's from the numerator, okay? Divided by the denominator, that's, um, this will cancel that. That's 17, okay? this you can also simplify this as minus 11 this is how you write in standard form okay 17 and minus 10 on 17 i okay i or j could be i or j again there's no need for you to go through all of this once you are working with multiple multiple choice questions okay so you can just solve this straight away okay with your calculator so all you have to do is just punch this question into your calculator and then you will arrive at the final answer which is right over here okay which is right over here
okay so let's try that okay hope you understood this let's go back to the calculator yes there's the fun part so let's just point this so we have um that's we have this okay so we have three nine x two i okay go down to the denominator you have nine x one plus four i right let's see what we get you see yes it's the same as the answer we had over here so we will try our hands on other examples so that we can perfect ourselves you can also try solving them like this okay like showing working or you can also use the calculator okay so let's try this 3 minus i you can pause the video and then try it on your own okay you have 2 plus 7 i okay the next one is the next one is um 3 on 9 minus i okay and then the other one is 8 sorry 8i on 1 plus 2i okay again you want this in standard form okay in standard form okay so you can pause the video and try working it out to check whether you get the same answer as i will okay okay let's use our calculator okay so we have the expression over here so let's punch it okay so we have Three minus i, okay. And then we have two plus seven i, okay. Let's see what we get. Yes, this is our final answer. This is in standard form, okay. That's one on fifty-three on twenty-two fifty-three, okay. So we have minus one on fifty-three minus. 22 on 53 I'm oh, sorry 53 I okay yes 23 sorry yes okay let's try the second one okay so we have 3 on 9 minus I okay Three on nine minus i. Okay, and what do we get? Okay, yes, twenty-seven and then three. Okay, so we have twenty-seven. Twenty-seven on eighty-two, right? Twenty-seven on eighty-two plus. 3 on 82 sorry this is really lagging okay sorry about that it's really lagging 82 okay i okay yes so let's try the last one okay so let's see we have um 8 i on one plus two i okay there we have it okay so guys this is how you solve um conjugate complex numbers and then you divide complex numbers and then write them in their standard form hope you enjoyed this video and then i know you try working smart and not hard okay they always bring this in the exams and then once you know this trick you don't have to go through the entire proving process okay you just use the calculator find the answer and then you move on okay okay um kindly subscribe to the channel and then <clears throat> i will see you in the next video bye bye